Hello, I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney and welcome to From the Rabbi's Bookshelves. Many of the books I've been talking about in this series have been books for general education or inspiration to give you a deeper and wider understanding of the Jewish tradition. But you also need to know what to do. How do you live a Jewish life? How do you keep kosher? How do you keep Shabbat? These are important day-to-day -day questions for, uh, for Jewish people. And the book I want to talk about today helps you in one of those regards. It's called Shmirat Shabbat Kehilchata, which means how to keep Shabbat according to its laws. And it's written by a student of uh, Rav Shlomo Zaman Albach. He was a very important Rosh Yeshiva, head of an academy of Talmudic learning, and a great postsake, a great decisor of Jewish law. And he has a student called uh, Rabbi Neuvert, and Rabbi Neuvert would discuss with him all of his opinions on uh, different questions of Shabbat, and then wrote them all down and published a several volume book. It's arranged by topic, unlike, let's say, the Talmud, which goes all over the place. This is a very, very beautifully arranged uh, volume, dealing with just with Shabbat, and it's similar to its footnotes, because you'll see that there is the main text here telling you what you can and can't do, then underneath are loads and loads of footnotes. We'll give you all of the references, but also give you all the leniences. So the very famous saying about the Shmirat Shabbat Kilchata is that always read the footnotes, because the goodies, the lenient opinions are in the footnotes, not in the main text. Now we're living in a time when uh, people are becoming unwell, and so I want to share a practical uh, ruling from this book, which is not controversial, which everyone uh, agrees to, but it's worth uh, expressing it in his, in his language. He writes this, Chai of Adam, la sos hakol kadei la tzil nefesh misro. It's an obligation on each person to do whatever they can to save a Jewish life. By the way, this goes for a non-Jewish life as well, but he's talking about Jewish lives initially. V'af muta lechalel et ha-shabbat l'shem kach. It's even permitted to break Shabbat for this purpose. V'afilu mitzvah la sot kein b'chol mikra shekayim b'kach nefesh. In any situation of b'kach nefesh, when there is danger to life, one has to break Shabbat in order to rescue that person from death. Or safek b'kach nefesh. Even if there's only a danger or a doubt about danger to life, you still break Shabbat in order to uh, save that person's life. V'chol his riz umaher l'chalal es ha-shabbat v'mikra l'kazer harizeh m'shubach. Anyone who is eager and swift to break Shabbat in such a situation, they are to be praised. So very clear, unambiguous and, and powerful advice. If someone's life is in danger or may be in danger, a Jew, and I'd add also a non-Jew, which is equally uncontroversial, then you break Shabbat and you save a life. You get in the car, you call the doctor, you call the ambulance, you do what you need to do. Please God, we shall all be well now and in the future. And thanks for joining.